friends, welcome to another episode of Stephanie Stamp Pad. Let's make a card together. Today's card is a really whaley whaley cute, <laughs> no pun intended of course, wishing you a whaley good birthday. And it's so easy peasy. Now some of the products that we're going to use include two of our whale stamp sets. So we're going to get the whale to stamp as well as the patterns for whales, those. Then we're gonna have our hot air balloon dies because we need that little sun. We're gonna also have our whale dies with the cute little, actually we're not using the, the, um, the water part, but we're using the whale as well as the little spout water. We're gonna be using one of the exclusive Stamps of Life embossing folder sets. This is the dot one that I love. We're gonna be using one of my favorite paper pattern pa paper pattern pads, I don't know about that, Wishes Collection, and the Stitched Ovals. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is not die cut our base. Can you believe it? I know, because look, it's already just a card. So what we've done is we've cut an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper cardstock in half and folded it, and now we have an A2 size card. That was easy peasy. Then we're just going to simply add adhesive to the back of this rectangle. And this is our pattern paper. So we're just gonna add that right here. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Look at that. Now we are going to emboss. Now here is the uh, cardstock I'm gonna emboss. And let's get our embossing folder. And we're gonna open it up. Get out that dotted circle one that's so much fun. Lay that down. And then we need to switch out our magnetic platform because we cannot use the magnetic platform. And excuse me while I grab my multi-purpose platform. Take tab two, move it off to the side. Lay this down, get a cutting pad. And we're gonna emboss this. Now I really wanna pay attention to where the design is. So I'm gonna move that right there to make sure I really get a lot of that design going on it. There we go. And another cutting pad, and we're going to run this through. Whoops, let me stay on the pad. There we go. Then we are going to stamp our whale. So we're going to move this, grab this, and ooh, look how pretty that is. That embosses so fantastically. So now we need some scratch paper, and this is my scratch paper I'm using today. Switch this out, get our magnetic platform back. Okay, let's add some inking to the embossed image. So we're going to take this, get some ink on there, start over here, and just lightly go over that embossed image because we just want it to really pop. And I'm gonna show you the before and after because I really want you to see what it looks like when you add that ink. It just adds so much more definition. Okay, look at that. Okay, so look at the difference Here's my before and here's my after. It really makes that embossed image pop off the page. So we're gonna move that off to the side. Then we're going to stamp our cute little whale. He's so cute. I'm gonna peel him up, lay him on here. Now this, of course, as I've mentioned before and many times on, whoops, we're gonna use Storm. I always use brand new stamp sets when I'm taping a video to make sure all the pieces are there because chances are if I grab out of my original stash of stamps, uh, it would be missing a stamp. So here we go, stamp one time onto scratch paper. That's the only time you ever have to do that after it's the, when it's the first time because that's gonna condition your stamp. Never, ever, ever put it, um, some people talk about sandpaper, some people talk about, um, I don't like that one. Some people talk about, uh, uh, what do they say? I've heard, I've heard the most random things. Use sandpaper, no, no. Use a file, no, no. Please don't do anything like that. Okay, so there we go. And we're gonna die cut this little guy. So we're going to get this out. We're also gonna get out the water spout die because we're gonna go ahead and die cut that at the same time. And we're gonna get out the sun to die cut as well. Might as well get it, kill a couple birds with one stone, right? So let's get our yellow for the sun. Let's get this guy for this one. The nice thing about the magnetic, the extended magnetic platform is you can die cut a whole bunch at once. And the spout is gonna be out of midnight dark paper. There we go. Look at that. So we're doing all of that at one time. Gently lay that on top because we have some stamping on there and run that through. 
Now while we're doing that, we can add adhesive to the back of this, maybe. We need two hands, okay. So we're gonna add adhesive to that, and I just broke a rule, I broke one of my own rules, never add adhesive when you're on your secret weapon. And we're going to add this right here. And let's see, I'm trying to decide how I wanna do this. Let's add it, uh, let's do it this way. Okay, so we're gonna add this right there. And let's get our little whale, he's so cute. So there's our little whale. And we're going to get our little sun. Now we're going to want to, whoops, come on baby. We're going to want to add a little bit of stuff to this. So let's get, where's everything else? Let's get everything out here. That and that, and where's our little spout? There's, hold on to our water spout. So now let's get all of these guys because we're going to ink these, except the midnight. The midnight we're not gonna ink. And we're just gonna put that off to the side. It's in there. We're gonna put that off to the side till we need it. Okay, get this out of here. Okay, so let's add some, we're not gonna actually add any to our whale, which is surprising, I'm surprising myself here. Let's add a little bit of foam tape to him. There we go, let's add some yellow to the sun. Let's find a clean spot just in case. We don't wanna pick up any of that extra ink from anywhere else. Let's just add it around the edges on the sun rays. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's grab our whale, add him at the bottom. Now what we need to do, now we wanna make sure we can fit our oval back there because what we're gonna do is we're gonna die cut an oval. So I'm using the largest stitched oval. Lay that down and we're gonna run that through. And we're gonna stamp that using the other stamp set. Wishing you a whaley good birthday. Okay, so let's grab that. Oh, there's my sun, don't lose the sun. Okay, pop this out and look at that fun stitch all the way around, that's so fun. So let's get that on there and we are doing this in licorice black. Okay, ink that baby up and stamp on scratch. Okay, ink that baby up and stamp on our project. Okay, so we're gonna stamp right there. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do woo, is we are going to add this guy with foam tape. Cover your ink pads, they won't dry out, but they will ruin your project <laughs> if you get it on there. So let's peel some of this off. That said that, and let's trim this just a little bit more. Cause I just need a little piece for my sun. Peel that up, peel that up. Look how easily this is coming together. Now we're gonna tuck that behind the whale and we're gonna add that right there. So I'm going a little rogue here. I'm going a little further over. Okay, and we're gonna add this sun. Cute little sun. And you know what, that foam dot's too big. This is why my scissors never work because I, I cut adhesive with it. Shouldn't do that. Okay, so we're gonna add our sun. Then we need our little water spout. Now normally you would think, oh Stephanie, how come you didn't use Sizzix adhesive on the back? Because anything this small, you would always use Sizzix adhesive. Well, yes. However, it is going to go over the edge and we don't want to glue it down completely to our card. So we are actually not gonna use Sizzix adhesive. I know, gasp. We are just gonna add adhesive to the very, very bottom of this. So we're gonna add adhesive to the very, very bottom, just like that. Bring it over here, add it like that. Isn't that cute? Look how cute that is. And I think we are done. That was easy. That was an easy one. Look how cute that turned out. Wishing you a whaley good birthday. Thanks so much for joining me for another episode of Stephanie's Tamp Bad, where we get together and make a card. Come back every Wednesday for a brand new free video. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.